So let's talk about VWAP. This is something that I'm trying to incorporate into my trading. And there were some really good setups today on Tesla. And I'm going to start really trying to figure out how to utilize this in my trading to be a little bit more consistent. March, I had a tough month. I think just because of the things that went on. If you watched that prior video, I had my life kind of blow up in February, but also because I was relying too heavily on just a few strategies, like the bull flags, the bear flags. I really like those patterns, but the market's not always going to set up clean for that kind of style of trading, especially when we're more range bound. I really do think that there are some good opportunities when it comes to reversals around VWAP, bounces to it, pullbacks to it, and then trying to get entries really close to VWAP. Now let's talk about what VWAP is. It's volume weighted average price. The volume weighted average price, it's a technical analysis indicator used on intraday charts that resets at the start of every new trading session. It's a trading benchmark that represents the average price the security has traded at throughout the day based on both volume and price. The VWAP is important because it provides traders with pricing insight into both the trend and value of a security. Now that was the technical definition of it, but at the end of the day, it's an indicator like anything else I don't want to rely 100% on it, but just utilizing it more in my trading because I think it's powerful when used the right way. So I want to talk about kind of the time and the place and when to use this. It's not like I'm just going to put VWAP on any chart and then trade it accordingly. Really, I think the best way to use this is going to be when the daily chart has a major technical breakout, breakdown, or there's a catalyst on an individual stock. And the reason why I think those factors are so important is because there's going to be elevated volume. And when there's elevated volume, I feel like a stock kind of listens to the rules a little bit more. And when that's the case, I feel like this is when VWAP can be used really well. And honestly, that's kind of the key with any indicator. It's not about just putting it on your chart and utilizing it. It's utilizing it when there's elevated volume, which to be honest, lately I have not been the best at. It's about being picky. It's about waiting for a specific stock to set up, have the daily chart look good, have a stock that has individual news. So that way it has the catalyst. So that way, when it's used in according to all those other things, there could possibly be a better outcome. And that's what it takes to increasing the probability of winning trades. It's not just putting indicators on your chart and then trading them every single day, trying to figure out how they work. It's using them when all those things that I just talked about before line up. And this is something especially that I need to get better at. Now I feel like I'm starting to move past all the crap that happened because I was kind of in a mental fog. But coming back to it, you know, obviously I still like the bull flags and the bear flags. But noticing that we've been in chop a lot more this year, and I think that this strategy, using the VWAP during those choppy periods, can really play out well. Because in March, I was guilty of just trading bull flags and bear flags and really kind of chasing things to the upside, chasing them to the downside, and then they would stuff in either direction. So they would not follow through to the upside. They'd start to bounce if I was taking a bear flag, and I was just taking a lot of losses. And instead of adapting quicker, I was frustrated, and I kept just kind of pushing through it. Whereas eventually I took a step back and realized that I have to make a minor adjustment. And this is kind of the strategy that I'm going to use to hopefully fix that. Today is Tuesday, April 4th. And I think there was two really good setups on Tesla and I want to go over them. But just to kind of paint the picture, the bigger picture idea of what was going on with Tesla. So why did I think today it worked out so well? Not just because the indicator was on the chart. First off, it had a huge breakout day on this day on elevated volume. So big breakout. And then there was the news catalyst the next day and it had a big gap down and then it got below that prior candle low. So I would think there's some buyers that are trapped. And then after that weakness, so you had a red day, there was the gap up today into prior day weakness. So you had a big breakout day and then immediately gave all that back and more. So if anybody is in that candle, I think they're feeling some pain. And then we had the gap up today. So if anybody is in that prior day candle and they're getting their money back, I would think that they'd probably want to sell their positions. And then obviously when things get going in one direction, it can cascade pretty quickly. So now let's break this thing down on the intraday. And this is going to be a two minute chart. So what happened off the open? So had the slight gap up, knowing that it was gapping up into a lot of resistance from the prior day. Had to push off the open, not trying to rush it because even this little dip right here could be a breakthrough VWAP, but just being patient, waiting for some sort of consolidation to happen above VWAP. And that's exactly what happened right here. So I had the failed push higher and then starts to show some weakness and then starts to roll over. So knowing that all of these things are all lining up where you had a big breakout day a couple days ago, it gave it all back that prior day. Now we're gapping up into resistance and we're showing weakness off the open. Now waiting for the VWAP reversal and I'm looking for the break of that. So I had that failed move higher and then this is where it starts to reverse. So clearly sellers starting to step in. It's starting to roll over a bit and then check out this candle. That is a really big aggressive sell candle. And how I'm seeing this is that the idea would be on a very clean break of VWAP, 
That's where I would want to go short. And then I would risk at that VWAP level because if it were to go back above there and then start to go to the highs, I don't want to be involved in that because if it gets over the high day, it could squeeze. So the cool thing with this is that it seems to be that the risk can be pretty tight because if it's going to work, it should work pretty quickly. So a clean breakthrough VWAP, being able to get short in this area somewhere, also realizing that there is low of day. So it would be a downside opening range break, but focusing less on that and more the fact that it had a push higher above VWAP and it gave VWAP up and now it's forming the VWAP reversal to the downside. And then it ends up breaking low a day and look at this clean price action to the downside, fills that gap. And it may not look like a huge move, but the really cool thing with Tesla is it still moves all right on elevated volume. So even if I was pretty good being able to get short right around 197, realizing that there is some room and look at this move. It happens pretty quick. 197 down to 194, 193 and a half. Just off the open, that's a great scalping opportunity. So that's setup number one, and I actually took this trade. And I called it a day after this. Even though I do see another setup, I'm in a spot now where I want to be very careful. I want to come back slow. I want to take good trades. One good trade mindset, so I called it a day. But still watching price action to try to learn moving forward. Here's the next setup that I see. So it has the push, consolidates a little bit getting through VWAP. So trying to make a reversal. Buyer stepping up thinking that, hey, maybe Tesla can go back to the highs, has the close over VWAP, and then immediately gives it back up. So I think the reason why this worked well is because people buying it through VWAP, thinking that it could possibly reverse, realizing that it is still very weak on the day and also continued weakness from the prior day. Has the push through, immediately fails. Gets below VWAP, so here's how I see it. Trying to get a good entry right around that VWAP, right around the break. It's hard to be perfect. So just realizing that if I'm able to be able to get a really good short position below VWAP, risking just above it, I mean, that risk is really tight or even risking above those candle highs because that's still very close to the area. And then look at this move lower. It's a really good risk reward spot and nothing is 100%. It's not gonna work every single time, but all the factors lined up. And I think that's why it worked this time. So just realizing that off the open, push higher, fail to move higher, starts to roll over the view app reversal to the downside, quickly fills the open downside gap, and then slowly has the push up to view app, gets above it, and then immediately reverses, gets back below it, trying to get good entries, risking at that VWAP area or just above the candle right here, and then a nice wash lower. So as you can see, when all of this stuff lines up, I feel like it's very powerful and nothing, like I said, nothing is going to work 100% of the time. But I don't think it's a coincidence that it worked well now with all the other factors being in play. Because if you look at these moves from that VWAP area, look how big they are. 197.50, 197, down to 193 and a half, and then starts to reverse right around 195.50. Look at these aggressive sell side candles down to almost 192.50. So very big moves once it failed VWAP. So those were a couple really good examples of how I'm going to incorporate VWAP into my trading. And you can see by these examples how powerful it really is. So that's it for the video. Hopefully you got some value. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.